All right, guys, so this is another one of the um, part of the Old Man series, uh, basically the um, Old Man universe, kind of like a cartoon version of the Old Man Logan universe, but this is with cartoon characters and up and whatnot. So this one was actually voted on by, like the Old Man Duke storyline, um, this one was voted on by you guys over on Patreon. And as always, if you'd like to join Patreon, if for anything, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, um, and you guys can go from there. And if you go to the fourth tier, you guys can send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But if you just want to be part of the polls or check out the movie reviews, you can just hit the lowest tier, which is $5 a month. There you go. So, yeah, as you can see, this one actually came from, uh, funny enough, this video was voted on this one it, it, it was a dead heat with a lot of them like this one was for part of a big batch of the old series and um essentially um the it, um this one won by one vote it was actually i thought it wasn't gonna win like i thought it wasn't gonna win and then it made a come from behind win with one vote the one that did look like it was going to win was an Old Man Tom series uh, focused on Tom from uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. But this one won by one vote, and, um, and that was Casey, an Old Man Casey Jones story. And you may be thinking, of all the characters, why did I pick um, Casey, as, you know, Casey Jones as the, you know, the survivor, as one of the last surviving heroes? Simply put, Casey gets a like Casey literally gets the shit end of the stick every alternate universe story. Literally, he dies in like 99% of those the alternate turtle universes. Even in in um, the last Ronin, he's dead. In that Raph story, Raphael storyline in the far future in Tales of the TMNT, he's dead. There's multiple cartoons and comics where in future alternate futures or alternate timelines or wherever, chances are Casey Jones is a dead man. So how about this time around we give a little we give a little uh, love for Casey. So here's Old Man Casey. <laughs> so Old Man Casey takes place. Um, the story begins in the night of the hero Holocaust, where all the villains got together and started killing all the heroes, and the turtles were one of the major targets. The Shredder led, basically, the Shredder along with the mutants led like this big attack on the, on the, on the underground, and they were aided by other villains as well. Of course, um, the Turtles and Master Splinter put up a hell of a fight, um, and Casey tried to fight his hardest to fight alongside them, but he was beaten down horribly. But the thing is, they didn't kill him, because Shredder basically says, you, you, you don't matter. Like, you are literally just a guy in a hockey mask. You are, and your name, last I checked, your name ain't Jason. So, so long, Jones. Just get out of the way. And that broke him as he watched his friends get killed. Now, the thing is, is that April survived. <laughs> Excuse me. April survived, um... <clears throat> Ugh, that was weird. April survived the, kill, uh, the mass killing of the turtles as well. And the two of them have basically been living together for the past like like 50 years together as a married couple out in basically in New York City which has now been divvied up between all the villains like you have Shredder who has like uh, control over one area of, of the city you have the Hunts clan who runs the, another section of the city. You have Demona who has carved out a, sec a part of the city. Like each of the like boroughs of New York have all been carved up. The Bron um, uh, uh, trying to remember, like the Bronx now belongs to um, yeah, the Bronx now belongs to Demona. Um, East Side belongs to the Hunts clan. Um, Harlem is now under Shredder. Excuse me, not Harlem. Um, Manhattan is now, or Central Manhattan is now under control of basically anything under Times Square is under Shredder's control. You have um, Valmont from Jackie Chan Adventures. He now runs um, Harlem. 
and it's all like been carved up. And among that is Casey, J Casey, and April, who are living just kind of like the past fifty years and kind of like under the thumb of this ma of these evil warlords. And they've been, have been like there. There's been like an uneasy truce among all the New York villains who are now ruling over the city. Is that there's this just unwritten law of don't fuck with us, we won't fuck with you. And business is good. The thing is, though, is that Casey has always been, like, depressed because he always thinks back to that night of A, how powerless he felt, and B, the other thing that killed uh, that killed him on the inside and just kind of killed his spirits was that he was seen as nothing. He was, he was thrown away, and that always haunted him. Like, that thought of I'm nothing. I, you know, these people, I, my, my brothers, essentially, the turtles, all died. Like, they all died, and I was, me and April were left alive because I, we were seen as worthless. Like, we weren't even seen as a valid threat to anyone for this. Like, it was, it just emotionally broke him as a person. Um, but Casey now runs a, I wouldn't say a bar. He does. He, you'd think he'd run a bar, but no, he doesn't. What he does run, however, is a um, like a after like an like a a home for wayward boys, basically an orphanage. He and April ne could never have kids, so it, yeah. April in this continuity, April and Casey were unable to have children of their own, so they more or less opened their home to be an adoption center for. Uh, children whose parents were either dissidents or like they were killed by or arrested or something like more or less they're taking in orphans and raising them because if they keep them in an orphanage they're not under like they're not they're not susceptible to either being taken by the hunt clan the hunts clan or the foot clan or someone of that nature like they're like one less villain and the other thing is like you maybe think well the villains probably don't like that no, they just kick up more money for them. Like they just more, the villains they live under are like, yeah, you got to pay uh, taxes for you know you got to pay your extra taxes for them. Um, and Bebop and Rocksteady usually come around the most to uh, for collection money. And if you don't have that collection money, you get your shit wrecked. That's um, that's the deal um, with all of this. So, um, anywho, in this. In this uh, one day, Casey, Casey's uh, some of one of uh, one uh, a few of Casey's um, boys, Casey and April's boys, they've they've taken in their home, have gone missing, and obviously in this place, that's a bad thing. So Casey at first is like going around, like driving around, looking for him, and he finds out that the boys are now like they're working for drug peddling for the Foot Clan, and, the, and more specifically the Purple Dragons, who do answer to the Foot Clan. So Casey is, like, kind of break, tries to bring them back. They're like, no, all we're gonna do there is just sit around and not, no one's gonna adopt us. No one, you know, and keep in mind, these are, like, some of the older boys that have been around for a few years. Like, no one's gonna adopt us. No one wants to have kids in this god-awful city. In this god-awful planet. Um, and that's kind of the thing, is that, the like, Casey like tries to tell him no like we can make it a better world and he's like better world for, for what are you crazy there's no such thing as a better world the last time someone said we're going to make a better world all the bad guys got together and killed them all so and he, and Casey's like not everyone kid um but yeah so funny enough in this story um this actually has a bit of crossover with um, another part of the old man universe. In here, um, we have a stranger who has come along into New York City, um, who's found his way into New York City, and it's Randy. This is the e like the end of the old man Randy series where he fought and killed the Pines clan, who are all like dinosaur mutant hybrids. And what happens is that Randy has found Casey. Like he he's been looking for Casey because he needs his help on a special mission, and Casey is the only one who can really help him, for a multitude of reasons. So the reason why Randy has come to New York and and specifically went to go look for Casey was because um, 
the little town he, Randy had li- had been living in that had been under the little jackboot of the Pines cl- of the Dino Pines clan was dying. Like there's a plague that's going around. Um, there's a sickness, and the only way to cure it um, is like a special form of mutagen that Donnie had synthesized because the plague is kind of something that the turtles had encountered and now they're encountering it again and it's killing people. So Randy has come looking for Casey's help in order to find um, uh, this um, this cure. The problem is it's it, they they need to go deep into the under the under the city to the to old turtles headquarters. So Casey and a- a- Casey's like, no, I'm kind of done with this, you know. And Randy's like, dude, I need your help. People in my town are dying, and I'm getting both of us are getting too old. So, yeah. So Casey, like, he's like, I'll go. I'll lead you there to the tur- to um, the turtles hideout. But other than that, I'm done. So they go down there, and under, <laughs> and when they finally get their way down to the turtles lair, they also have to fight their way through the la- through a monster version of Fang from Gargoyles. Remember the evil um, mutant Gargoyle um, that was part of Talon's clan? Yeah, he's been mutated into into a huge savage monster. Like, his mutation has degenerated him into, like, a savage, bloodthirsty monster that Randy and Casey have to kill. And um, once they get down there, they see, like, a more like Cronenberg version of Baxter Stockman fly who has found um, the last remnants of this cure because he wants to retrofit it into making it into a new drug a mutagen drug to hook you know to hook people on to sell uh, to sell to you know peddling mutant drugs through the purple dragons for the foot clan so yeah Casey and Randy have to now work together to because now it's fallen into the shredders hands and Randy's like I have never fought the Shredder, and I like I like I know what he's capable of. Though I know like he was one of the founders for the here the Holocaust. So I'm you know I need it to I need your full support on all of this. So dude, I need it like dude, I need you. So please help. So Randy and April, Randy and Casey, um sneak into have to sneak their way into TCRI where they encounter the Krang who have more or less been working on more mutagen experiments free and you know um, Krang himself is uh, you know he's all happy but now he's he's become so old he's gotten like so big he's now like just sitting like Jabba the Hutt on a table and he's like ah Casey Jones I, of all the people still alive figured it'd be you you little runt um <laughs> and Casey like just fucking it like when they they just fucking end um <laughs> and Krang and that's the moment where Casey's like yeah I'm back so after getting the cure back Randy like gets it once they get the cure back randy's like what are you gonna do now man you could you know um my town is a safe haven maybe you could we could sink the boys out of new york and he's like and case is like nah man uh someone's gotta fight for the little guys out here in new york and figured that might as well be me so casey is now training the boys and kids they him and april have been have been raising and are now um, kind of like making like a, a resistance movie, kind of like at the end of Dark Ni- of the Dark Knight Return of the of uh, the Dark Knight Returns with the Sons of Batman. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much my old man Casey idea. You guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of it? Comment below. Let me know. And once again, if you haven't already, hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.